All right, I've had some folks ask me to make a video of my landing gear, so I thought I'd do that today. This landing gear uh, was published in Sport Aviation in 1979 in an article. <clears throat> I've just adapted it to fit my KR2. The original wing attachment fittings were extended. They were to accommodate the plate on the front and then the wing attachment fittings on the front were welded to it and also bolted through with AN4 bolts and still using AN3 bolts on the outside. This gear is held together with those scissors there and also this long bolt on the front. Uh, there is a way to uh, build the retainer internal but the long bolt on the front it was just the simplest way to do it so that's the path I took. I'm using Tracy O'Brien brakes and that fits on those pins that come through the uh, hub or the uh, wheel. Alright now on this gear there's a large bolt inside or I mean a large spring all we gotta do is remove this retainer, take apart the scissors in the back, and this whole thing will just drop right out. And there's a 12 inch spring inside, which the spring I got is uh, a little too strong. I'm gonna have to change it to something softer and this part will get painted with a uh, graphite paint it could also I guess be chromed you can see I'm getting a little bit of rust on it but once this is painted with the graphite paint it should slide up and down very easily alignment of this gear is done by adding or subtracting washers here in this joint and that will make the uh, gear either toe in or toe out and that's really all there is to it quite a bit of welding involved uh, but nothing hard if I, if I was able to do it anybody can build this gear